Okay, well, uh, hello, and this is uh, Cat Evolution at the MDI factory in Nice. Uh, this is uh, Cyril Negra. Hello, sorry. <laughs> uh, could you tell us about the vehicle behind you? Well, yes, this is uh, the, uh, the first real air car we've run. Because before any of this car, we've run a small tank. It was a small tank, that was the first step. But then after what we've done, we've developed a car around the town. Because running the small AX Citroën, we've seen that we need a lot of volume to run a car for one day in town. So we decided to build a car around the town. So this is why this car has the tank under the frame. And uh, it is the real one, the real first car we've run. And that was many years ago, but you know, we developed many cars. And this is the basic uh, car for. Uh, research and development purpose. Okay. Uh, what is the name of the car? Well, this is a city cat, but uh, the problem is that today there is another city cat. We, we started with this city cat, which is uh, um, something like uh, a taxi in this configuration, but we have some delivery van also, and uh, it can take inside four passengers and one driver. That was the basic idea. It is not that long, it is long like uh, two or six Peugeot, which is a short car, but with a big volume inside. But then, during our development, we find a solution to put the driver in the middle. And putting the driver in the middle gives you the possibility to have a huge space inside of the car. So we've redesigned the city cat, and now the city cat is called again city cat, but it's a second version. So a first generation city cat. That's the one. And and the second generation, which is here, this is a model. It is based on the same design as the mini cat. But uh, it is longer, it will have six uh, persons inside, we will have six seats, three in the front, three behind. It is a modular car, we can define different kinds of car depending on the back we're going to put here. For example, it can be a delivery van, it can be a pickup, six or three places. But the idea is to use the, the possibility to put the driver in the middle because that gives you a huge volume inside without having a long car. This is a 4.2 meter car long, it is a short car, but a big volume inside. And um, that's why we changed from the old city cat to the new city cat. Also because the old city cat, the first generation, had the motor, the engine, in the front. And having the engine in the front is not that good for efficiency. It is better to run a car with the engine in the back. Because having an, an engine in the back, you just have the angle of the suspensions that uh, are changing the, the angle of the axis of the wheel. If you have the engine in the front, when you change the driving uh, wheel position, you change the axle of the wheel, and that costs more energy. So this is why we decided to change. Okay, I think you kind of lost some of us okay. <laughs> with that. I mean, I'm not an engineer, but <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's like we have two. It's going to have two pedals. It's yeah. going to have one to go fast and one to brake. Correct? Yes. yes. Okay. Good. <laughs> that's that's most people's understanding yes. of yes. automobiles, like like mine. So. No, I, I don't mean to tease, but it's uh, no, but it, it is good to, to know that. Uh, can we take a look inside the old city cat just yes. to see what it used to look like? Yes, that, that, that one is defined like a taxi. So we taken a few ideas from London Taxi, of course, mm -hmm. because you have uh, the driver in the front, you have uh, a huge place inside, you have uh, four people behind, and uh, the place for the luggage. So this is basically a taxi. Okay. We can do the same with city cat too. Okay. Can we look inside? Uh, Yes, well, this, this is fine as a real prototype, so you can see just a place. There is a place for a screen, which is not on this prototype, but the idea is to have all the data coming from the pressure in the tank, coming from the speed of the engine that uh, are going on the, the screen. It is defined as, a, we can say, a nice prototype, a nice working prototype for engineers. Yeah. But this would be a very good platform for a production vehicle, or? Well, it has, it has also changed because uh, basically this one has a steel frame uh, weld, and today we are going on a technology which is uh, more simple, and it can be used in our production concept of four small turnkey unit, which is aluminum glued on uh, aluminum plate, so it is a better solution. This is why also we moved to CityCat 2. Okay. What's the um, safety features of the new CityCat? Like, will it meet safety standards in North America? It has to. If we want to sell some car there, it has to, to meet the regulation. This is, the problem of safety is just uh, fit the regulation. Uh, there are some rules written. You have to do some tests. If you don't uh, uh, 
go through this test, you can't sell the car. So we will have to. And uh, building the, the city cat and also the mini cat, all the car with a driver in, in the middle, we've, uh, we've have the possibility to put a big frame to absorb the crash. And as our car is lighter than normal car, it is easier to absorb the energy of a crash test. Right. So for safety, that's good. Yeah. So it's not going to be a, a multi-ton vehicle uh, rushing down the road. It's going to be light, in a sense. Uh, is that the idea? The car is going to be light. Okay. It has to be light because lighter it will be, more range you will have. Okay.